everybody, this is Beach Baby Bob, and welcome to Once Upon a Tome. Today's story is called Heckety Peg. It was written and it was illustrated by Audrey and Don Wood. I hope you enjoy the story. Once upon a tome, down a dark and dusty road outside of town, lived a poor, poor mother and her seven children. The children were named Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the mother and the children worked really, really hard in their small little cottage close to the edge of the forest. They tried to keep it clean. They had a big fire pit in the middle of the uh, little cottage, and there was a hole up in the center of the ceiling, so the smoke could escape outside. On Friday, the mother went into the town to buy groceries and some treats for the children because they all worked so hard together. And on this particular Friday, she said to the, the kids, Okay, each one of you can have one special treat. So, what would you like? Think about that now. What would your favorite treat be? So Monday said, well, Mom, I'd love some butter. We never have any butter in this house, and I love butter. I had to ask for a little taste of butter when I was at school from one of my friends, and it was delicious. So could you get me some butter? And Tuesday, well, Tuesday wanted a knife, a little pocket knife, the kind that Tuesday could use to maybe cut some branches off of a tree or dig a hole in the dirt. Wednesday, Wednesday loved to play house and pretend that she was making food. And she liked milk. So she said to her mother, could you, could you bring me home a little pitcher? You know, the kind that you put milk in and you pour into a glass. So a pitcher, not a picture that is a picture that you hang on the wall, but a, a container. Something that you put milk in. A pitcher. Thursday. Well, Thursday wanted honey. Because Thursday had a sweet tooth and loved to eat honey. Thursday was also interested in bees, and bees make honey, you know. Friday. Friday wanted some crackers. Yes, Friday loved crackers. You know, little Ritz crackers or little crack, uh, soda crackers, any kind of crackers. And Saturday. Saturday wanted some jelly beans because Saturday loved the taste of colored jelly beans. Sunday. Sunday wanted pudding. Egg pudding, too. Not rice pudding. Not chocolate pudding. Not even a custard pudding, but egg pudding. So the mother said, you know, you've been great kids this week. You've worked really hard as a team, keeping the cottage clean putting your toys away after you've played with them, because, you know, we only have one room, and we've got a big fire pit in the middle of our cottage, and we've got all kinds of toys and clothing and furniture in this little cottage, so you've worked really, really well keeping it organized and clean, so I'm going to get you your treat. So I've got to go out for a couple of hours down to the store in town, and I want you to do two very important things for me, I want you to stay away from the fire and don't let any strangers into the house. In fact, don't let anybody into the house except me when I come back. So lock the door after I leave. The mother left. She took her wagon and she went way down the road, the dusty dirt road, into the town to buy her groceries and get the treats for the kids. Well, the kids were playing, having a great time. They had lots of toys and games. 
and they were having a great, great time when all of a sudden they heard a noise. Something was coming up the pathway. They thought, maybe, maybe it's that witch that lives in the forest and she's not a nice lady. The people in the town were afraid of her. She didn't come out of the forest very often, but maybe it's her. So all the kids ran over to the window and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday and Sunday looked out the window and they saw Hecate Peg coming up the pathway toward their house. Hecate Peg had only one leg and she said, I'm Hecate Peg, I've got one leg and let me in. She said that everywhere she went, she was trying to get in people's houses. What would she want to do in the houses? I bet it wasn't a nice thing. So they thought, no, no, we're going to get away from the window and we're not going to let her in if she knocks on the door. So they were all hiding really close to their beds. Some of them even had the covers over their heads and they were shaking because they were so afraid of Hecate Peg. All of a sudden, the witch, Hecate Peg, she was ugly, and she stuck her head in the window. There was no glass on the window because the, the family couldn't afford glass on the window. They were poor. And she said, I'm Hecate Peg, I've lost my leg. I've only got one leg, let me in. The kids said, no, no, Hecate Peg. Go away, go away, we can't let you in. Our mother is in town buying groceries and getting us treats. And she said, don't let anybody in, not even you, Hecate Peg. Nobody gets in, so we can't let you in. Hecate Peg said, no, I need, I need to get in and get warm by your fire, I'm really cold. So I'm Hecate Peg, I've got one leg, I've lost my other leg, now let me in. Well, the kids said, no, they got kind of angry. And all together, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday said, no, 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 go away, Hecate Peg. Go back into the forest. Leave us alone, we're not letting you in. So Hecate Peg, she thought, hmm, I know. She said, children, sweet little children. She had her head stuck right in their window. But she was old and she only had one leg and she couldn't climb in the window. She needed to come through the door, but it was locked. So she said, sweet, sweet children, let me in. I'm old and I'm heckety peg and I've lost my leg. I've only got one leg and I'm cold and I'm hungry, please. And if you do, I'll give you this bag of money. And she showed them a bag of money and they thought, hmm. If we had that money, we could give it to our mother and she could buy a new house. Maybe a house with windows that had glass. Maybe more than one room. Maybe we could get a furnace instead of having a fire with smoke and flames going up through the hole in the ceiling. Oh my goodness, let's open the door, they yelled. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Get the key, they all ran to the door. They got the key, they unlocked the door and they opened it up. Oh, Hecate Peg came in and she said, I'm Hecate Peg, I've lost my one leg. Now I'm in your house. And she looked right at them with her big, huge, witchy eyes. And she said, I'm going to eat you up. And the kids started to scream. And as they ran for their beds, she went poof and she turned them all into food. She was magic. She picked up all the food and put them into her shopping bag and away she went back to the forest where she came from. She lived in a house in the forest made out of candy, yes. So, the poor, poor mother returned a couple of hours later and she was excited because she had new groceries and she had a treat for all the kids. And she came into the house and she said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm back and I've got your treats. But there wasn't a sound in the house. 
she looked around and she thought, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come out from your hiding places. I've got your treats. Still not a sound. She thought, oh, they're not here. Where are they? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where are you? And she yelled. Not a sound. She was getting really, really upset and really worried. And then she saw a little black bird sitting on the window and it was flapping its wings. And she said, little black bird, do you know where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are? I've got their treats. They don't seem to be anywhere in the house. And the bird squawked. It went quack, quack, and it flapped its wings and it flew away from the window. And then it came back to the window and it squawked. And it flapped its wings and then it flew away from the window up into the sky. And the mother ran to the window and looked up and she thought, the bird knows where maybe Heckity Peg was here and took my children into the forest. Oh no! Bird, bird, she yelled as she ran out of the house and looked up into the sky. Bird, black bird, do you know where my children are? And the bird flew right down and landed on her shoulder and said, quack, quack, and flapped its wings and then flew toward the forest. Well, the mother followed the bird into the forest right to Heckety Peg's house. And she went right up to the door because she was mad. And she said, let me in. And she knocked on the door like this. Heckity Peg was just about ready to sit down for her dinner. She had all the food, all the children who were turned into food on the table. She had her knife and her fork and she was ready to eat because she was hungry. And she said, who's at my door? Go away, I'm about to have my dinner. And the mother, she knocked on the door again. Let me in, I want my children back. And Heckity Peg said, you can't come in. Your, your hands are dirty. And then she, Heckity Peg heard the knock again. The mother said, let me in. And Heckity Peg said, you can't come in. Your feet are dirty. And then the mother said, My hands are not dirty and my feet are not dirty. Open the door and you will see. So Heckity Peg thought, Okay, okay, okay. I'll get rid of this woman and then I'll have my dinner. Yum, I'm so hungry. And she licked her lips. So she opened the door and the mother was very smart. She was down on her knees and she pulled her dress over top of her legs so Heckity Peg couldn't see her, her feet. And she had her hands behind her back. And she said, see, my hands are not dirty and my feet are not dirty. So please let me in. So Heckity Peg said, well, okay then, you might as well come in and have some dinner with me I'm about to have. A delicious meal. So the mother on her knees with her hands behind her back she hobbled into the house and when she got in there she jumped up and she said where are my children? You took my children. Heckity peg. I don't care if you're a witch. I don't care if you're magic. Give me my children back. And Heckity peg said well I turned them all into food and I'm going to eat them unless you can tell me which food is which kid. And the mother thought, hmm, I know which one's which. The bread on the table, on Heckity Peg's table, must be Monday because Monday wanted butter. And as soon as she said that, the bread popped into Monday. And Monday said, Hi, Mom! I'm glad you're here! 
And then the mother looked and she saw some cheese and she thought, well, Tuesday, Tuesday wanted a knife and you need a knife to get the cheese sliced up. So the cheese must be Tuesday and pop. Tuesday popped up and Tuesday said, mom, mom, you're back. I need you. This wicked witch is going to eat me. Thank you. Thank you. And so the mother thought, hmm, Wednesday wanted a pitcher that you fill up with milk and pour the milk out into a glass. And of course, you always drink milk when you eat a cookie. So the cookies must be Wednesday. And pop, Wednesday popped out. And so on. The mother did that for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In fact, Sunday, Sunday wanted egg pudding as a treat. And the mother looked on the table and said, you know, I think you always have some maple syrup with your egg pudding. So the maple syrup, heckity peg, must be Sunday and pop. Sunday appeared and so did Saturday and so did Friday and so did Thursday. They all popped up because the mother knew exactly what they wanted for their treats and they knew she knew what food matched. So she had all the kids and they were screaming and they were happy and they were hugging their mother and Heckety Peg thought, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. So they all turned around at the same time and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and the mother looked at Heckety Peg and said, Heckety Peg! Well, Heckety Peg started to run out of the house, through the forest, on one leg, and she started heading toward the bridge that went over the river. Maybe she thought she could get away, but the children looked at their mother. The mother looked at the seven children and said, you know what? That heckety peg is just a lonely old lady and she needs love. Maybe if we catch her before she gets to the bridge, she might fall in the river because she's only got one leg. We can save her. We'll give her a big hug and we'll invite her to come to our house every Friday after I go shopping and she can have a big feast with us and we can sing songs, play games, and everybody will live happily ever after. Well, the kids were excited, the mother was excited, and they looked out the door and they could see Heckety Peg on one leg, almost at the bridge. She was huffing and puffing, working her way really, really, really quickly, the best she could on one leg, toward the bridge. I think she was going to jump in the water. She was so upset. Well, the kids, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and the mother ran as fast as their legs would carry them. And they finally, just as they got to the bridge, Heckety Peg was there. Heckety Peg turned around and they tried to grab her and give her a big hug and she fell into the water. Oh, the water was raging. It was flowing very quickly and it was deep. Now Heckety Peg, she did have a cane because remember she only had one leg. And you can't just run with one leg. But if you have a cane, maybe you can run with one leg. Well, she, they looked over the bridge. They looked into the water in the river. And there was nothing. There was no heckety peg. Except they saw her cane floating in the water. They reached down one at a time. And they couldn't get the cane. And finally, the mother said, let me do it, let me do it, I have longer arms. So she reached in and grabbed the cane that belonged to Heckety Peg and pulled it out. Where did Heckety Peg go, they said. Oh, maybe she drowned. Oh, maybe she can swim underwater. Oh, I don't know. But 
we've got to get back home, said the mother, because all the groceries are there and all your treats are there. So let's go. So all the kids, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and their poor mother went back home, and the mother took the cane, Hecate Peg's cane, with her. That's the end of the story. I wonder what happened to Hecate Peg. But you know, I think I hear her. I think she's, I think I hear her coming up the sidewalk. Maybe she's, maybe she's here. Maybe you would like to meet Hecate Peg if it is her. Let me go and look. If it's Hecate Peg, I'll invite her in. But before I do, I want to show you the book. This is what it looks like. It's called Hecate Peg. And you can find it at your library or maybe in a bookstore. Or maybe you could ask your mother or your father or your grandpa or your grandma or your teacher to get it off of the internet. Maybe they could buy it from Amazon.ca or Amazon.com. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's called, it's called Hecate Peg. Okay, now let me check and see if that's her at the door. You just stay right where you are. Don't be afraid. Hecate Peg is here, and she wants to talk to you. Here she is. My name is Hackety Peg. Yes, Hackety Peg's my name. I'm an old lady and I live in the forest in a house made out of candy. Yes, and sometimes I get really hungry and I don't feel very well because I eat a lot of sugar. So I go looking for some nutritious food. You know, food that's really good for your health. Yes, I do. And so my favorite food is, well, I like, um, I like milk, and sometimes I eat, um, some egg pudding, and sometimes, sometimes I like to have a cookie. Anyway, the other day I was out, and I was looking in a window of a house just around the corner, and there were a bunch of kids in the house and they were they were playing and singing and it looked like a lot of fun so i asked the kids i said 
I looked through the window and I said, I'm Hecate Peg. I've lost my leg. Now let me in. And the kids wouldn't let me in. No, they said I was mean and I was a stranger. And that their mother said don't let strangers in when she's away shopping. So I said that I would give them some gold. I had some gold. It was just a few coins. And they said, okay, and they let me in. And then I took them to my house and I was having my dinner. Well, I was about to have my dinner when a knock came to the door and it was their mother. And she was mad at me. I don't know why she was mad at me. I was just about to have my dinner. The kids were all there. They were at the table too. So she came in and she got her kids and then they all turned around and they yelled, Hecate Peg! And I thought they were going to hurt me. Yes, they thought they were going to hurt me. I'm just a poor old woman living in a house all by myself. And sometimes I get hungry. So I go looking for food. Anyway, I started to run and I've only got one leg. You know that. But I have this cane here. It's a big cane. It has my favorite bird on the top of it. And there's a piece of leather I can hold on. And it helps me move really, really quickly when I'm in a hurry. So I ran up the pathway. I got to the bridge where the river is. And they were running toward me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And their mother. And I thought they were going to hurt me. And so, just as they tried to grab me, I fell in the river. Yes, I dropped my cane in the water, and I fell in the river, and I went right under. Well, they thought I had drowned. And I thought, I'm going to stay under the water until they go away. Because when I was a little girl, I learned how to swim at the YMCA. I took swimming lessons. Yes, so I could swim underwater, and I don't have any problems. So I waited and waited, and then I came up, and I looked for my cane, I couldn't find it. And then the neighbors, back at my house in the forest, I have some neighbors that live nearby, they said that the lady with the seven kids has my cane, and here it is. So I got it back. And that's the real story. So. I have to go now. I hope you're not afraid of me because I'm a nice lady. And I've only got one leg, see? One leg. Bye. I hope you like the real story.